Former Vice President Jejumar Binay is eyeing a return to public office next year. His spokesperson, Joey Salgado, confirmed that Binay will gun for a congressional seat in the 1st District of Makati in the 2019 polls. He will run under the ticket of his daughter, Abby Binay, who will also seek another term as Makati City Mayor. One of the former Vice President's daughter re-electionist, Senator Nancy Binay, says she was surprised by her father's decision. Parang ano eh, ayaw niya pag-uusapan dati yung mga plano niya. So I guess siguro, ewan ko kung ano nangyari. What do you think mommy can still perform well in public service? Oo naman. Malacanang has joined the barrage of criticisms against former Senator Juan Ponce Enriles one-on-one with Bongbong Marcos. Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque says Enrile and Marcos cannot distort history as far as martial law abuses are concerned. Roque was reacting to Enrile's statement during the tete a tete that not a single person was arrested because of their political beliefs or their criticisms against Ferdinand Marcos during his dictatorship. I don't think they can twist history when there's a law and their court decisions attesting to what happened no, during martial law. Meralco is working with the armed forces to provide electricity to military outposts in Batanes. One Meralco Foundation has signed a memorandum of agreement with the AFP to install solar power in military shelters in Mavulis, which is the northernmost island of the Philippines. Meralco Chairman Manny V. Pangilinan says electricity in those outposts will be beneficial to both the military and fishermen who might need safe harbor in times of bad weather. It's the opportunity to be able to help um, you know, uh, the armed forces because um, that is not always on the radar screen of uh, the private sector, you know. Uh, uh, so it's, it's a, it's a, this is uh, another one of those opportunities being offered to us to be able to help, uh, to help uh, the, the soldiers, the, the sailors, the marines, um, and at the same time the people of northern Luzon. No? So, you know, it's an important frontier for the Philippines, no?